Hey everybody, welcome to Alaska Raceway Park's Tuesday Track Talk. I'm your host Michelle and um, I've got just a few things to go over with you today. Um, as most of you know, I was uh, down at the California Hot Rod Reunion this weekend and we just got back in late last night so I'm, I'm busy digging through my email and, and um, it didn't have a whole lot of content for you yet because I still have to go through all this stuff. So. Um, so the Hot Rod Reunion is hosted by the NHRA Museum. It was fantastic down at Famoso uh, Drag Strip in Bakersfield, California, which is super nice this time of year for us Alaskans. Um, we had an incredible time, saw lots of hot rods, uh, the, got to go see the swap meet, all sorts of vendors. Um, there was excellent racing and um, we were very fortunate to be able to run into former Alaskan Sean Callen um, and his dad Huey with the High Heaven uh, AA fuel altered car. Um, it was really, really cool to watch those guys race and to be able to cheer them on from the stands. Um, also got to watch Kristen Frizzle uh, do some qualifying and make some runs um, at her first time down the track there. So uh, it was really exciting to, to see all that. Um, hopefully next year more of you guys can join us. I know um, Mike Bruley was there and he had a blast. Um, it was definitely a good time. So uh, if you need an excuse to, to get out of here when it's cold, the Hot Rod Reunion is definitely something that I would recommend picking up. Um, this upcoming weekend, our junior dragster drivers, uh, Brayden, Kale, and Benjamin are going to be taking on Texas at the Halloween Havoc at Alamo City Motorplex. Um, and then we will also be cheering on Ray with Martin Motorsports. Uh, their team will be racing this weekend at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Um, so we'll be sure to tune in to NHRA.TV and watch those guys. Um, cheers to all of our racers that are competing and watching this weekend weekend so um uh and if you are going to be going outside and racing like i don't i don't have a, a whole lot of troll time to be on the internet here but um you know if if you're going to be going someplace and representing alaska definitely let us know so that we can uh let all of our fellow racers know and uh, our fans so we can tune in and cheer on our alaskans as they compete um i know we've got a couple other ones that are going to be competing later in november so um, keep me up with your schedules and I'll make sure that everybody knows to tune in. Um, so while we were down having fun, we had a really great crew out at Alaska Raceway Park. Um, they were there over the weekend removing all the wooden posts. So if you haven't seen it yet, we've got a couple pictures of the track um, on our Facebook page. And it looks naked. Like there is nothing there. It's really weird. It kind of... Um, other than the fact that there are fences there to keep the spectators out, it looks like the track did way back in the 80s. So, um, anyhow, the track is ready for concrete walls. So, uh, we're working out the details on construction and we'll let you know um, as we get closer. I've also been in contact with um, our timing system distributor, uh, Portatree, and they have been getting us some information on that. So uh, we'll have, have some more info as that comes up. But I'd like to give a, a huge thanks to uh, Rick and Kim Nissen and Brenda and Rick Axtell, John Akers, and of course, Airport Equipment Rentals for getting those posts out this weekend. Um, it, it looks amazing, and I can't wait to see what it looks when we have the concrete poured. Um, I can tell you what, as a track operator, it kind of freaks me out a little bit that we don't have the walls up there, but I know we're going to get it done. So, um, speaking of walls, if you haven't made a contribution to Club 1320, the link is on the Facebook. You can also go to Venmo and send us some cash. Um, if you're thinking about what to get somebody for Christmas, um, maybe a gift membership to Club 1320 would be in the works. Um, just throwing that plug out there. So, um, as a reminder, we're going to have the Thunderstock Rules meeting this Saturday at 10 o'clock here at the Garage Mahal. Um, you can call me or text me for directions if you don't know how to get here already. Um, if you can't make it for some reason, then go ahead and uh, send me whatever input you might have as far as the rules go. Um, and let's see, I've got a couple things in here. Let's see what's in the inbox here. 
Oh, Sean Ferris wanted us to, to remind you all that uh, Ryan Blaney is going to be racing on Sunday. He is one point away in the running for the trophy. So um, definitely want to give a shout out to Ryan. Be sure to tune in and watch that race on Sunday if you're not watching the drag racing. Um, Ryan was uh, a big supporter of us during the Advance My Track Challenge, and he actually had a last raceway park on his car at one point in time during the season. So um, he's kind of kind of our, our home favorite at this point. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Jack and Casey are tuning in from Idaho. Yep, looks like we got everybody in there. So, um, so that's all I've got for now. <laughs> um, I am in the process of digging through my inbox. So thank you guys for giving me, you know, a, a few days of vacation. I appreciate it, but, um, am overwhelmed with my inbox, but I'll get through it. I'll have some more updates for you next week as far as rules and stuff. Um, and I'd like to remind you guys to watch out for all the ghouls and goblins this weekend. Um, the adult ones and the little ones, but you know, people are going to be running around in costume and celebrating Halloween. So, um, remember to be safe while you're out there driving, don't drink and drive and, um, uh, make sure you have really big treats for all those kids that brave the cold and come out to your house for trick or treating. So, um, thank you guys all for tuning in. I will see you next week right here on Alaska Raceway Parks Tuesday Track Talk.